welcome to another episode of Check Out Basket. Today I'm here at uh, Hungry Jack's where they've re 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 released. I don't even know if they even took it off the menu. But um, the Smokehouse Whopper has now come back through as a new item in the online app. So I've gone down there and also the Oreo. Thick shake. Looks pretty good, eh? It's got uh, biscuit bits on top, some whipped cream, chocolate all around the outside, some biscuit stuff in the middle. Actually, we'll have a taste of this one first. Now that is a very thick, cold, thick shake. I can taste the Oreo in it. I like the whipped cream on top. That's the that's the part that always gets me. It's the extra creaminess. But yeah, there's biscuit in there as well. All right, let's go over to the uh, Smokehouse Whopper. There we go, Smokehouse Whopper. It's in a lovely Whopper box. Let's give it a flick open. Give you guys a bit of a look on top. Looks pretty good. Doesn't look like it's got like stuff falling out everywhere. It actually looks like it's been made properly. Inside here, you've got the smokehouse barbecue sauce. You've also got onion rings, bacon, tomato, lettuce. Let's have a look. Lift the top. You've also got mayonnaise and mustard. There's the tomatoes. There's some lettuce. I'm pretty sure I can see some uh, some onion rings back here. Some bacon. One meat patty. You can get this in a two, and you can get this in a in, in a triple as well. But I only like yeah. You know, one one's enough for me because you don't want to overpower the beef with all the other flavors. They're trying to uh, collaborate on the top of this burger. So, all right, let's bring it out. I'll give you guys another look. Whoa, that looks huge. All right. I'm going to go in from this side because it's got all the flavourings that are starting to ooze out. I want to catch them before they drop. Oh yeah. That smoky barbecue sauce. Whoa. I'm wearing it. That's how good it is. Whoa. That smoky barbecue sauce with that bacon and those onion rings are actually really, really good. The tomato and the lettuce, just give that fresh flavour in the back. That's the, that's the difference. It's always been the difference between this and their competitions. They have that freshness in there as well. All right. I know what I'm going to give this a score. Look, it's already been out. It's a re 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 released off the have them take it off the menu. So I'm going to give this Smokehouse Whopper a seven and a half out of ten. It's good. It's all right. Actually, I can tell you the price of it too. Eight dollars and twenty five cents for just this. So yeah, points taken off price wise. All right. Next is the Oreo. Now I asked how what, what what size does it come in, and they told me it only comes in a in a, in a medium. So this is the size you get. This is four dollars and fifty cents. Now there is a reason why I'm not doing this with Chris the Taste stuff. For some reason, he doesn't like Oreo biscuits. Well, he does like them, just not crushed up in drinks and desserts. So. I'm come down to do this myself, and uh, let's see, what kind of a score can I give this? I think this is going to get a six and a half. It's okay, can't choose the sizes, and it is a little bit of the expensive side as well. For $4.50 for a medium. Mm. Alright, if I get you to like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, see you.
in the next video. Back to uh, my smokehouse whopper. The smell is actually really good. I like the smells of these. And it's, it, oh, it's just great. Mm.